it's uh, it's not easy to make a prediction. But I think in our in our understanding, the future, at least in the medium you know medium term, it's going to be where stable coins, privately issued stable coins, coexist with central bank digital currencies, for example. We still have some questions about whether all of juris these jurisdictions that are exploring the idea of launching a CBDC might actually do that in the future. The digital euro is a big project. Everybody's like, sure, yes, this could be interesting, but no one is really sure to you know which problems this is going to solve. Right? It's always say that it's a it's a solution in search for a problem. The digital euro, but still, we believe that we will see CBDCs, we will see the digital euro being launched, but we will still see privately issued compliant stable coins that will you know adhere to the rules. For example, that Mika is establishing on terms of reserve of assets to really prove that they are stable, that there is a reason why they're called stable coins, right? We, the main point, at least from a European perspective, is that if you're claiming that your token is always going to be stable, you need to make that you know, sure. You need to, to make it clear that there is a, a real reserve that will ensure that this is true, right? That the, the value doesn't really depack too much. So we will see those. We will see those uh, big issuers that become more and more um, you know, structured, strong, and will launch even more interesting stablecoin products. One thing that we also hope to see, of course, is more euro stablecoins, right? We all, have, we all know that there is a dominance over the market about from dollar denominated stablecoins. I think we will see some very interesting, I also know some very interesting European projects launching euro stablecoins, and this is going to be interesting in the next few years, how this all play out together.